Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. So we are, so we are, here are they, they keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. So when we say we believe in Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah, we must be keeping God's commandments. You men, you must grow your beard. That's right. That's, that's walking right. That's walking in righteousness. Right. Walking in righteousness is not saying some real deep. It's saying you a pastor. Saying you a deacon. Right. That's not walking in righteousness. Listening to the the precepts and walking, following after the precepts of men. The things that you say are supposed to line up with God's laws. That's right. My brother with the uh, brown hat. Come, come talk to me. Come talk to me, brother. With the, Read what you got. Zephaniah chapter 2 and 1. Because uh, contrary to a lot of brothers, a lot of sisters get the wrong perception when we come out here and we teach on the streets. The Bible tells us to cry aloud. To right. show our people their sins. Right. So that you can get yourself right. So you can see where you're going off. Read what you got. Because this is what we out here to do. Contrary to belief. The book of Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it out. Gather yourselves together. The Bible says, gather yourselves together. Gather yourselves together. Gather yourselves together, black man. Black woman. Hispanic man, Hispanic woman. Gather yourselves together. Read. Yeah, gather together. O nation not desire. All nation not desire. You say this negativity? My brother. My brother. My brother. My brother. My brother. Man, you been talking. Come on over here. Man, you been talking. Okay, so. The, the Bible, read that again. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. So the Bible tells us to gather ourselves together. To gather ourselves together. Then it says, O nation, not desire. There's only one nation of people that's on this earth that's not desired. That's us, the black man, the Hispanic man. The Native American man. Don't no other nation on his face want to don't desire to be with us in our blocks, in our streets. The things that we are bringing out to you is our history. That's we are bringing out our history according to the Bible. It's not negativity. It's God's Bible. It's God's word to show you what you need to do to get yourself right. To get yourself out of your bad condition. Because we living in harsh conditions. But when the prophets of the Lord come out here, what? We teaching, we teaching hatred. We teaching negativity. No, we showing you where you're going wrong so you can get right. If you got children and you got sons and daughters, if your son is doing something wrong, you ain't gonna just let him let him do wrong. Be like, I'm gonna let him figure out his way. That's hatred. You gonna, you gonna show him what he did wrong and show him what to do right. If you're a business owner, if you if you have a business, you're a supervisor. You showing the people how what they do, what they need to do to keep the job. And that's what we out here to showing you what to do. You showing you what, what you must do to get the kingdom of heaven. To get eternal life. Because the way that we are living in these streets, we're not going to get eternal life. Take it as, as, as negative as you want to. But it's not. Read that. Read that again. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together. O nation not desire. Before the decree bring forth. So say, gather yourselves together. Come together in unity. And unity under God's laws. That's right. That's what we're supposed to come together in. Because I can't come together with you if you're still on the street selling drugs. I can't come together with you if you're still gang banging. Right. I can't come together with you if you're out here whoremongering, sleeping with woman after woman after woman. We can't gather ourselves together like that. Bring it because if we gather ourselves together under that guise, well, when you believe what you believe and I believe what I believe, it's a fight bound to happen because our disagreement going gonna, gonna to overrule us trying to be in unity. Right. So us gathering together must be under the same banner, which is God's laws. Read. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chain, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you.
before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. So you think this, if you think, if you're looking at the things that we're doing, you think you're looking at the history that we're bringing out and you consider it negative, wait till you see the day of the Lord. And when you see the day of the Lord, we're trying to save you from that day. Because what you do, it's going to happen the day of the Lord, he going to come destroy you. Teach. Killing. This trash, right? He going to come destroying right? you. All and what's going to happen? Right? You're going to be like, dang, I should have listened. All this trash, right? I should have listened. Y'all come down here to help, right? Why the fuck y'all ain't pick this shit up? You come down here to help, right? That's Sabbath. what I'm saying, bro. It's Sabbath day. On, my brother. Now, one, like I said, I'm if, we, if we pick up this trash, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell let me tell you something. Last year, no, listen, listen real quick. Because you said if we, if we, no, listen to this. Listen to this, bro. Come here. You're going to talk about the camera, bro. Let me deal with you. Let me deal with you. You don't talk to me, talk to me. Because last year, what we do, we went on Madison and Pulaski and cleaned the whole corner up. And you know what happened no, next did, week? Bro. The very next no, week, did, bro. bro, we got the picture. We'll show you to you if you want to see it. The, the, next, phone, the next week, it was trash all over the place. That's right. So we can come out here and physically clean up the, the trash and everything. But what's going to happen? Our right? people still going to be evil. Our people still going to be exactly. killing people. That's not going to fix the community cleaning up trash. Because right. we can do that. Well, we actually going to be doing it on what the 30th of this though? month. What are you doing there? Be you so, so this you, so you trying to show you who you are. This you teaching positivity? Yes. This is him teaching positivity? What's positivity? You already know it is. Now, one word, what word did I just tell you that he never said? Tell me what's positivity. You didn't want, you weren't listening. You can go ask 10 positive. people that's been out here, that's been listening to him. Now, one time did he say, tell slavery me happened, don't know, and, and, and everybody want to be on. Um, slavery happened because of this thing. Slavery happened because a fucking African American, black people, whatever the fuck you want to call it, fucking too, they egos take too much pride and too pride and all that shit, bro. And and the main and the main thing was they don't know how to unify, bro. That's the thing, bro. The key to life, and here's the key. Bro. And that's and, and they don't know how to do it, bro. Well, look. And what you're doing out here, bro, is not unification, bro. Yes, what well, you doing right now, bro, this shit is teaching negativity, bro. No, this is not unification. Have you, ever, bro. have you ever sat down and talked? Yes. You know everything yes. that we teach? Who? You? Yes. You know everything. I know, I know you teach about the negativity. No, you only been out here for what? You've been out here for an hour and a half, maybe? I've been sitting everywhere, bro. Okay. You dialogue about You look into the information. I mean, I've been to see y'all everywhere, bro. Not dark you you see you see we went to say the reason I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I want you to listen, because you weren't listening the first time we were in. But you said we out here for negativity. Nah, he good, he good. Bro, listen, listen. You see what, what that sound is? Now it's all that. Now it's all that. Now it's all that. Now it's all that. How is that? Wow, how is that? Let me ask you. How is labor and somebody all that destruction? Let me ask you. How is labor and somebody all that destruction? What's the solution? Say that again. Why are our young people shot down in the shed? What's the solution? Ain't no solution. Oh, it ain't no solution. No, it ain't no solution. What's the solution? Read this ain't no solution. solution. Zephaniah 2 and 1. Listen to this. The book of Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourselves together. The Bible says gather yourselves together. That's unity. Gather yourselves together. Read. Yay. Gather together. O nation not desire. It says gather yourself together, O nation not desire. We are a nation not desire. Just like I just said. We are a nation not desire. That's why when you come in our streets, we got potholes all over the place. Our streets are torn down. Our neighborhoods are boarded up. We speak in reality. We speak in things that are going on in our neighborhoods, in our hood. That's not negative. We showing you the lowest state that you have accepted to live in. Read. Gather yourselves together. Yet gather together, O nation, not desire. So it says, gather yourselves, O nation, not desire. So we're supposed to gather ourselves together under God's laws. Give me Leviticus 19 and 17. Because our people say a lot. My brother said that there's no solution to stopping the killings, to stopping the murders that's going on in the streets. We out here telling you, you telling us that we teaching negativity? We telling you to put the damn guns down. Bring it out. And deal with the Bible. Read. Right. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. The Bible says, thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. That if you if every if all the the GDs, the BDs, the, the vice lords, the 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 insanes, all these, if all these gangs 
to stop hating their brother in their heart, that would stop the violence in the community. Listen up, bro. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. It says thou shalt. So the Bible says, read the, read the whole part again. Read the whole thing. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So it says thou shalt not hate your brother in your heart. And then it says thou shalt rebuke thy neighbor. Bro, you're doing that against the most high God. You ain't doing it against us. The Bible says thou shalt not hate. Read it again. Read it again. Oh, bro. He was just talking about the trash. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So it says, thou shalt not hate thy neighbor in thy heart. And my brother just made a big scene telling us that we should pick up the trash, but he just added to the trash. We know. But we, but we, but we off. We speaking negativity. We are clean this up. But what the, what's going to happen? What just happened right now? It's going to our people going to trash it right back up. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. And the other thing the brother asked, what we doing? What we doing to unify our people? We teaching you God's laws. We showing you that you are not a nigger. We showing you that you are not a black man. You are an Israelite, a prince that has power with God. The solution to the killings in our streets is this. Read it again, because I don't think nobody's listening. They too hard-headed. They too caught up in their ways. They too, they too busy being rebellious against the Most High God. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So if your brother offend you or your brother make you feel a certain type of way, you're supposed to go to your brother and talk to him. You're supposed to go to him and correct him. That's what it means to rebuke your neighbor. You're not supposed to develop a hatred for your brother in your heart. Well now you, man, I can't stand it. I can't believe this nigga did that. I can't believe this nigga did that. He shot, he shot my cousin. He did this to my cousin. Now you bear boy and hatred and what's gonna happen? Now somebody else gonna get shot. And then the cycle just gonna keep going over and over and over and over again. Teacher. But the thing that we trying to show you, these are solutions to correct our, 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 our communities. Bring it out. Picking up trash is part of that, but that's not the, that's not the root and the solution of it. Read. Thou shalt not, thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, and not suffer sin upon him. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. It says, Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of our people. That would fix the violence in our community. Jeez. That's the answer. That's the answer. If we keep God's commandments, but no, we too busy doing our own thing. YOLO, you, wanna, you only live once. We too busy doing what we want to do that we can't even take the time to listen to the solution to the problems that go on in our community day in and day out. This Bible is a true book. It teaches a man how to be a man. It teaches a man how to go and get a legit job and work to feed his family. Or start a legit business and feed his family. Bring it out. Those things are righteous and upright. Like my, my brother, my, they over here, my brother, they over here selling snow cone. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but there's something wrong with it today because today the Lord's Sabbath day. Bring it out. You can do that Sunday through Friday. That's good. That's good. The only thing we saying is don't do it on the Lord's Sabbath day. Today is the Sabbath day. We just telling you not to do it today because today is the Lord's Sabbath day. Teach. Read what you got. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. So the Bible, we are here, out here showing you who you are. The Bible says, when judgment day comes, child to the judge. You stuff what the judge is in the secret. God judge. You that's out here, you making everything. You're thinking of the wrong type of judge. I'm not putting you down. I'm showing you God's law. I'm not putting you down, sister. I'm trying to show you, I'm trying to show you, I am reading the Bible. You can't tell us who to serve and not to serve. 
guilty of what I'm doing. I'm not Jehovah's Witness. We are the Israelites. That's, That's right. right. We are the Israelites. We on the right corner because our people are sick out here. Read what you got. Sick. You got it? Read. This is the book of First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 2. Bring it out. Do ye not it know that the saints shall judge the world? So what? say it again. Read. Read it again. Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? The Bible says that the saints shall judge the world. Because whether you believe you sanctify, you baptize, whatever you are, if you ain't keeping God's laws, if you're not doing what this Bible say to do, you're not sanctified. Teach. You have to be doing what the Bible say to do. The Bible says that the saints will judge the world. You, will, you and, and, and all, in all honesty, a lot of people, a lot of our people say, oh, only God can judge me. I want God to judge me. No, you don't, because when God judges you, he's going to put you to death. When the judgment of God comes, it's going to be fierce anger. We just correcting you. We just telling you what you're doing wrong so you can do it right. But if you don't want to hear what we say, you want to disregard what we say, then you have to deal with the most high God. We're trying to save you from that. Read. And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Are we unworthy to judge the smallest? Keeping the Sabbath day, that's a small matter. We can judge that. We can keep, we're keeping the Sabbath day. That's why we can tell you that you're not keeping it. Teach. We keeping the Holy Sabbath. Exodus 28, my sister said that the Sabbath is every day. Exodus 20 and verse 8. Let's read that. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So the Bible says remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Read. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath day. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt do, thou shalt not do any work. So it says, the Sabbath is the seventh day of the week. The seventh day. The Bible is very clear and distinct in what it describes. The seventh day of the week. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. In it. Thou shalt not do any work, nor thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. So on a Sabbath day, you're not supposed to do any work. That's right. That's thus saith the Lord. Not what Simakiah said, but what the Bible said. The Bible said that you're not supposed to do any work on a Sabbath day, which is the seventh day of the week, which is today. Read. What you doing right now? For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. So on the seventh day, you rest. And no, rest ain't talking about you sit back in your, back in your bed, don't do nothing, and just lay up all day being lazy, scratching. No, that's not what, that's not what it's going into. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.